So are you selling the house you're currently living in and getting ready to buy the next one? Do you need money from this house to buy the next house? Hi, I'm Don Pelletier. I'm owner and broker at the Don Pelletier Group. This is usually the most stressful situation for people because there are a lot of moving parts and a lot of unknowns with a whole bunch of what is. I mean, it can be really nerve wracking. So if you need the money from your current house to buy the next house, then listen up because you really need to know how your current home sale is going to affect the strength of your offer on the next house. But with a little bit of knowledge, you can absolutely create a winning strategy. An offer to purchase in general, as you may know, involves a lot of conditions, terms, and timelines. But when you're selling your house to buy the next one, that's adding a whole new level of complexities to the equation. So what are you doing involves multiple steps and a well thought out strategy on how to position yourself just right. So this is super important to understand up front, especially if you're looking to buy in a seller's market, like the one we're in right now. But it's not until you get to a certain point with your current home sale that your offer would even be worth writing up, quite honestly. Well, on the one hand, you need to sell your current home for as much money as you possibly can in order to buy the next house. And because the market is really competitive, you, need, you absolutely need to know up front that you're probably gonna be throwing down some hard cash to get it. So just how competitive do you really need to be? Well, it depends on what the market's doing at that point in time. I can provide you all the information you need to figure out how you need to navigate this adventure of yours just to make sure you come out ahead and on top. But I'm just going to focus right now on your offer strength, considering your home sale, and I'm not going to touch on any of the other aspects of an offer. Someone wants to know that your sale is going to go through before they accept your offer. So if your house hasn't been sold yet, you're risky from their standpoint. It's like a race. The closer you are to the finish line, the better and more of a sure thing your offer is. So here's a couple scenarios with a sliding scale. Scenario one, my house is not even on the market yet. Strength, very weak. Should I start my search? No. Scenario number two, my house is on the market, but we haven't accepted an offer yet. Strength, very weak. Should I start my search? Well, you can start looking, but don't bother making any offers just yet. Scenario number three, I finally accept an offer on my house, but no contingencies are lifted yet by the buyers. Strength, weak. Should I start my search? Well, you can keep looking. You can make offers, but really don't expect anything much at this point. However, you should be training your eyes for the difference in houses. Scenario four, I've accepted an offer on my house and one or two of the contingencies are lifted. Strength, moderate. Should I start my search? Well, be looking and making offers. You have a special chance here, especially if your offer is competitive based on price, but it's gonna depend a lot on the competition. So you may still be turned down. Be prepared to pay more than you otherwise would. Scenario five, I have accepted an offer on my house and all the contingencies have been lifted by the buyer. Strength, very strong. Should I start my search? Absolutely, be looking and placing offers now. Whether your offer gets accepted is gonna be a lot more about your offer rather than your home's contract status. Finally, scenario number six, my house is sold and my escrow is closed. Strength, strongest of all. Should I start my search? Yes, it's all about, it, it's all about if your offer gets accepted. Don't you want to go into this with your eyes wide open and know exactly what you're getting into? Well, I'm pleased to say that during all of 2023, every single buyer that we represented throughout the year, even when facing stiff competition from multiple offers, we were able to position their offer and negotiate with the seller's agent so that their offers were accepted by the sellers 100% of the time last year. Experience matters. Choose your agent wisely. Don Pelletier here. If you'd like to know more about offers, selling, and buying, feel free to reach out to my team and I anytime. We're always here to help. My number is 858-336-1114. Call or text, or you can also send an email at donp at pelletierhomes.com.